Hey guys, welcome to another Blogger Basics tutorial. This tutorial is part of a series where I go over different basics within the Blogger platform, uh, just to feel that I can get novice users up to speed and get them posting to the best of their bit ability. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to format permlinks. Permlinks are the address to each of your individual blog posts, and they can be very important for both letting your user easily remember the address to individual blog posts, but also for SEO, which is search engine optimization and allowing search engines to really get the most value out of your blog posts and understand the relevancy to different keywords. So Blogger automatically makes permalinks, permalinks out of the title to your post. So the way to see these is to go, when you're in the, editing the post, just go into the post settings, find permalinks, click that. Right now it's on automatic permalink. So what it's done, if you can see this right here, is created the link to this blog post and just used whatever the title is. So right now it's how to edit and format permalinks. So the first tip about permalinks is that you want them to be under 60 characters. This one is definitely under 60 characters, so we're good there but we also want to remove what are called stop words. Stop words are words that really are irrelevant to search engines, such as to, and, those kind of things. Because those aren't really relevant keywords. Those are used in everyday language. So Google and different search engines, when they see these words, they kind of just don't pay attention to them. So we're going to edit those out. The way we're going to do that is by hit, hitting custom permalink. So we come up this is where we can see and edit the permalink, c.html. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove two and an. To make that a little bit smaller and more concise. So press done. And we can see that the new permalink is how edit format permalinks. That made it shorter. Google will have to use less resources to find that, and it makes it more concise for my users so they can remember that. All right, so that's how you're gonna edit your permalinks. And those are a few tips of how to, how you should edit your permalinks. You could do anything you want to really, but those are the best ways for SEO and I believe making it shorter for your users. So please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And also please rate and subscribe for more blogger and WordPress videos and also like to just give me a thumbs up if it helped you. Thank you very much.